All right, now we're going to go through, <clears throat> get our list of all the materials that we can pre-cut for the room. Uh, if we know our, our foundation, our deck is level and square, a lot of these pieces can be pre-cut <clears throat> ahead of time. Uh, they can even be pre-cut in shop if you have a rain day. Uh, you want to take advantage of that uh, and get this stuff pre-cut in the shop and it'll make it go together a lot quicker out of the job. So we're going to start with our our base track F's uh, A and C wall. We're at 144 inches. So we want for A wall, we want 144 inches to the long point of our 45 degree angle. All right, now we can go through and uh, get a pre-cut list of material. Uh, if our foundation is level and square, we have a lot of this channel, uh, we can determine the height or the, the length and get it pre-cut. Uh, you can pre-cut it in the shop if you have a rain day. Uh, speed you up out on the job site. We're going to start with our, our base F channels. A wall, we have 144 inches. So for A wall, we want to cut a piece of base 144 inches to the long of our 45 degree angle. This black line is showing our half inch leg of the F channel. That half inch leg should be running to the outside of the room. A wall, we're going to cut one at 144 to the long of the 45. C wall, we're going to cut 144 to the long of the 45. Make sure we have our leg to the outside so your A wall and your C wall will be holding the angle there. B wall, we want our base F cut at 187 and a quarter and that will be from the long to the long of the 45 degree angle. Again with your half inch leg to the outside of the room. Next we can cut our wall track F. That length will be determined by your wall design drawings. So in this room we have 108 inches. A wall and C wall, two pieces at 108 inches. Corner post again will be determined by your wall design drawings. On this particular room, we have 97 inches for the corner post, so we want to cut two corners at 97 inches. Window and door sills each window and each door will have a sill directly under the window frames. Same with the door, we'll have a sill under the door frame. So for the sills, take the width of your window frame and we just cut that back to the even number. So a 67 and 3 eighths window frame, we'll cut that sill at 67 inches. And here for an 89 and 3 eighths window, We'll cut that sill at even 89. And same on door, 67 and 3 eighths door. We'll cut that sill at 67 inches. So for 67 inch sills, we have at one, two, three, four at 67. We'll have two at 89 for our B wall. Next would be our window and door H channel. On top of our knee wall or knee glass we'll have our H thermal H channels running. That H channel will also go above our window frame and in this room we have our transoms so we'll have that H above our transoms also. So for that H measurement an A wall we have a 67 and 3 eighths window frame what I'm going to do is round that window frame up to 67 and a half, and I'm going to subtract two inches. The reason I'm subtracting the two inches is our window frame is going to sit into our H, 
one inch on each side. And we want this bottom H to butt in to our upright H on each side. For 67 and 3 eighths window, I'll round that up to 67 and a half. I'll subtract two inches and I'll cut my H channel at 65 and a half. Once installed, that will butt into the upright H and into the corner post and have a nice tight fit with no gaps. That H will be the same size for the top of the window and also for the top of the transom. For your B wall, we have an 89 and 3 8 window. So again, I'm going to round that up 9 and a half, subtract 2 inches. And I'll cut my H at 87 and a half. We need for our 65 and a half inch H's. We'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven total. 65 and a half. We need eleven total. For our B wall windows. We have two windows at 89 and 3 eighths. Again, we're going to round that up, subtract our two, come up with 87 and a half. We need two pieces at 87 and a half. Knee wall, if we're using a solid uh, knee wall panel or vinyl knee wall panel. Alright, so now we're going to get our H's for our B wall. So we're going to have an H. On top of our knee wall, on top of our frame, and then we have an H under the header to add extra support for our header. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, at 87 and a half. Knee walls, again, if you know your deck or foundation is perfectly level, our standard knee wall height is going to be 15 and a half inches. It's going to be cut to the even number of your frame. For this one here, our frame is 67 and 3 eighths. So we cut this knee wall at 67 by 15 and a half. Assuming everything is level. So we can figure our knee walls for all the sections. So we need one, two, Three at 67 by 15 and a half. We'll have two at 89 by 15 and a half. Then we'll have our hanger base mounted at the house. Hanger base will be the width of your B wall plus your overhangs that'll be determined on your wall design drawings. On this room here, we have a six inch overhang on both sides. So our overall B-wall length, 187 and a quarter. We're gonna add 12 inches onto that. Again, six inches for each side. So we get 199 and a quarter for our hanger base. Our header base, header top, will be on top of our B-wall. That'll be the length of our B-wall minus our four inch corner post on each side. So we'll take 187 and a quarter. We'll subtract eight inches, four inches for each side. We'll have 179 and a quarter. Again, assuming everything is level and square, you can have all this material pre-cut in the shop, ready to go when you get on the job site.